my name is Ellie Dowden. Um, I was with my husband and um, my family in Hawaii, and um, we were there when the um, alert was sent out for the ballistic missile en route um, to Hawaii, and basically we were just um, making breakfast, and our phones all went off with this alert, kind of sounding like an amber alert, but um, we picked up our phones and it said, um, ballistic missile en route to Hawaii, take shelter immediately. Um, this is not a drill. And so we all looked around and we didn't really know what to do. We were, we were renting a home. Um, so we were just in a neighborhood and no one was really around and there's no basements there. There's nowhere to go. So um, we basically looked around and we're like, well, you know what? There's absolutely nothing we can do. We are surrounded by everyone we love. And so we just um, sat down and kept eating breakfast. <laughs> we, we, we didn't know what to do and there was nothing you could do. So anything we, um, on TV? No, no, not really. And, and so we, we were looking on our phones and there wasn't really, you know, Googling it and there wasn't much. And about five to 10 minutes later, some things started to pop up, um, like on Twitter and, and, um, and it seemed like it was just a um, like a false false alarm, but they weren't sure. No one was sure. And then finally it came on on the on the news. No one was sure on the news either. Everyone was just very very confused. And um, I don't think we really got the alert saying it was fake for like 30 35 minutes after we got the initial alert. So um, it was a stressful 30 minutes, but also it's you know. There, like I said, there's nothing you can do, so you just have to, like I said, go with the flow. You're surrounded by everyone you love. I, <laughs> my sister's like, well, I guess, you know, I'm a little young, but 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 this is okay. I'm surrounded by everyone I love. <laughs> wow, what a gut check. Seriously. Yeah, it was, it was a little crazy. Did anybody cry? Did anybody pray? Did anybody call their friends? My Did... brother, so my brother brought his girlfriend and she was the one who was the most scared, probably because she wasn't surrounded by her family. So she went and called her family and, and spoke with them. She was very scared, but like I said, at least we were fortunate enough that everyone was there. So there was no one really to call. <laughs> We were all going through it together. How many people have talked to you about this? Or quite a few. We we got home and they're like you were in Hawaii when that happened. Like, yeah. <laughs> and then the rest of the day or week when you were in Hawaii, what was the topic of conversation? You know, honestly, it happened on Saturday, and we were coming home on Sunday. Um, it was definitely on the news, talked about pretty heavily. But in terms of the people around us, um, the basically our like. Um, not really landlord, but but um, the person managing the property. He, when we called him, because that's who we called, because we didn't know who else to call. And so when we called him, when it happened, he's like, "Wait, what's going on?" He's like, "I heard the alert. I thought it was just a flood warning." <laughs> so the locals didn't see. You know, he he seemed pretty out of the loop. But once we called him back, he was like, you know, after he had found out what it was, I think he was a little freaked out. But I, I don't blame them, you know, living in, in a place where that actually, you know, has been talked about and is a real threat is, is pretty scary. Mm -hmm.